Hello, and welcome to another installment of Hanging with Dr. Origami. And today, we're making an origami dragon. First, take your paper and fold it in half rectangularly. And as always, the more symmetrical your folds, the better your final product will be. Next, unfold it and fold it in half in the other direction. From here, make sure the open ends at the bottom, set it down, take your top left corner and bring it down to the middle. And then flip it over and do the same thing. Take the top left corner and bring it down to the middle. So you have a triangle when you're done. From here, pick up your paper, take the top point, face it straight down, and you're gonna open it like a book. It's gonna flatten to create a square. So again, we were here, pick up your paper, take the top point, face it straight down, hold it like this, open it up from the center, and it should collapse down to make a square, and make sure your open end is at the bottom. Next, you're gonna take your bottom left and bottom right edges and bring them to the middle. So bring this edge over to the middle, Same thing with bottom left, bring it over to the middle. So it looks similar to a kite when you're done. And flip it over, same thing. Take your bottom edges and bring them to the middle. So again, it looks like a kite when you're done. From here, you have a horizontal line going across here. You take this top triangle, fold it straight down, fold it really well, unfold, 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 open this up from the bottom to that line we just made, and then collapse left and right down to make a diamond. So again, we were here, and fold down, unfold, 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 open it from the bottom, and collapse left and right sides to make a giant diamond. And then bring the top of this diamond straight down. Then from here, same thing, flip it over. You have a horizontal line going across, take the triangle, Fold it down over that line. Then unfold, unfold, unfold. Open up from the bottom to that line. Then collapse left and right sides to have a giant diamond. And then bring this part straight down. So again, it's like a kite now that we're done. Next, take the top point and bring it down to this horizontal line. Just gonna fold it just from here to here. Unfold it, flip it over, same thing. Take the top point, fold it down to the horizontal line and unfold it back. So from here, pick your paper up, kinda spread it out. You're gonna push this point down in the middle to the line we just created and squeeze the sides together so they come in like an accordion, like so. And it's like this when we're done. So again, 
if you were like this, you're gonna open it up, push that top point down, just that first line we created, according it together, close it down, and then set it back down. Next, if you look at the midpoint of the top, in this side right here, you're gonna fold over this line, so take this top corner, and just fold it down like so. So again, from here to there, same thing on the right, from the middle to that corner, and fold that one over, and then lift this top triangle up. So again, we were here, you're gonna fold the left and right sides down, and then lift up from the bottom like so. Flip it over, same thing. From the middle to this corner, you're gonna flip this down. And on the right hand side as well. Then lift this up from the bottom, like so. Next, rotate your whole paper 180 degrees. You're gonna take this edge on the right and bring it to the middle line. You're gonna fold it over like so. And then unfold it and do the same thing with the left hand side. Bring that side to the middle. And then unfold it. You're gonna bring these sides together so it comes to a point. and then fold it down to the right. So again, we were here, take the right hand side, bring that to the middle, unfold it, bring the left hand side, fold that to the middle, unfold it, kind of bring them in together so it comes to a point, straight up, and then fold that over to the right hand side. Then take your paper, flip it over, and same thing. Take the right side, bring it down to the middle. Unfold it. Left side, bring that to the middle. Unfold it. Bring them in together so they come to a point. And this time, bring it over to the left hand side so they're facing the same way. Next, pick your paper up and rotate it 180 degrees from the bottom, like so. And then flip it over again, like so. Next, you're gonna pinch these, these are the wings, you're gonna pinch them together. And then this is gonna be the head flap. You're gonna pinch that together as well. Bring this up from the middle. So you create a right angle right here. So again, we were here, you're gonna pinch it and bring it up to the middle and fold it together, like so. Flip your paper over, take the wings over to the other side, and same thing, pinch the wings, pinch the flap, bring it up the middle, and it's gonna create a horizontal line going across the bottom for your whole paper. And from the middle, it should look like this, like so. And it comes up in the middle and together. So now your paper has a horizontal line going across. Next, take this top edge and you're gonna bring that to the bottom. So you're just gonna fold it in half this way. So again, from here down to here, flip it over, same thing. Take this edge and go down like this. Then move the wings over to the other side, flip it over and same thing. Take the top, bring it down to the bottom.
flip it over and take this edge down to the bottom like so. You have your little flaps, these are going to be the legs underneath. You're going to pull those straight out, push this part down, and then bring it back to the front. So again, we were here. You're going to lift this up, swing this part straight out, push that part, we just fold it down, and then bring this back. So now this is up front. Flip it over, same thing. You're going to lift this part up, bring the bottom part out, push that part down, and swing it to the front. Move the wings over, same thing. Lift it up, bring this part out, push this part down, and fold it back. Flip it over, same thing. Lift this part up, swing it out, push that part down, bring together, same thing. Move your wings back. These tabs are going to become your legs, so you're going to fold them straight down. So straight down here, and then together on the other side. Move the wings. Go straight down and straight down. And they, again, they should be symmetrical. So now you have all your feet. Next, we're going to work on the head. Here are your feet, so pinch just in front of your feet. And then from the middle, you're going to swing this part and fold it up from the inside. Increase it like so. So going back toward the rest of the body. So again, from here, open up from the middle and go backwards. Then pinch it again, take the same part and bring it forward. And then one more time backwards and this part should go past the back of the head so it looks like so. So again we were here and here are your feet. You're going to pinch in front of the feet, bring the neck backwards in the middle like so and then forward and then backward. And there's your dragon's head. For the wings, swing them forward. Then from the center of the bottom, you're going to angle the wings up backwards. So angle up like this. Flip it over, same thing. Try to make it symmetrical. So I'll angle them up like that. Then the last part is the tail. So again, here are your feet. You're going to pinch past the feet. Fold this toward the body. And then back toward the back. And then up toward the body again. And then pinch. Then back toward the back one more time for your tail. And now you have your origami dragon. Here's the side of you. And with your feet. It should stand up like so. And there we go. This has been Hangout Dr. Origami. If you liked the video, please give me a like or subscribe below. And I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.